Are you ready for a trip to the Orient? Are you willing to go east? Are you able to listen to Chinese music? Are you liking the idea of the eye of love staring you down? Do you like uh, the sound of the monsters coming and eating your brains? <laughs> If so, if you're ready for an adventure, it's time to go out to the deep. And for the mystery has been for the appointed time at the end, are and as it was in the beginning, now is it at the end for all little good pres uh, pirate seekers who seek in the treasure of love because the treasure of love is out in the deep. Way down, way past J.B. Davy Jones locker, kids. And if you go down for the treasure of the deep, uh, the excellence of treasure is the Christ love of all people, not just shallow love, deep adoration, devotion, faithfulness. Ah, can you dig that? I hope so. So it's time to travel out into the sapphire sea the bo bottomless, crystalline, bluest ocean of the magnificence of his beneficence, his charity, his benevolence, moving forth as a storm of instruction. Peace is time for now. Serenity is ahead. A st pull up the anchors. Away we go. Hoist the mainstay, and let's get the shiver me timbers. Let's get the wheel going towards the Orient to get rid of all the mystery. For the veil was to be pulled in the latter days upon the latter day mountain. And here is where we shall go and go deep, kitties. So love from love, hope from hope. And peace from the Prince of Peace, who is our Majesty of Majesties, hero of heroes, kids. Look to him alone, for he is love. And make sure, kids, that you good make good swabbies. If you want to leave the safety of the shore and learn how to be the best pirate of love that you could be, you got to put away a lot of things like when we were kids, because mysteries abound where most most of us are seeking for answers. A lot of times the mystery is right under our nose because mystery and secrets, which is like a mystery, same thing, because uh, love is the answer to all of our problems and it is the only solution and it has been wrapped in a mystery inside of something called an enigma, the puzzle of puzzles. And it's time to get it going because mystery creates wonder and wonder is the basis of all of our desire to try to understand. So don't be uh, easy to define. Let everybody wonder about you too because you know we got to get deep. We got to beat the sword into the sickle to learn the ways of war no more. And that's to change our conditional love, which never really has ever been love, uh, into divine love that loves in spite of, that loves through things and loves no matter what happens. That is love. Are you ready to accept that truth? Because if you are, then all your conditional love has all been imagined. And maybe, maybe if you're, all your love is conditional, maybe you are truly loveless. You know, one of the kind of people on Facebook, they got a the million followers and yet they got no friends. Don't be a loser like that. It's time to be a winner. Stand up for our hero uh, because the mystery of life isn't a problem to solve. But uh, uh, as Captain R always says, the mystery of life is a reality to experience only out into the deep. That's why uh, Christ the Lord, he always say that we've got to go out into the deep. That if his people are lukewarm, uh, that God would just spew them out of the mouth like some blah. Don't do that. Go to school. Mind your mama. And so know in this hour that attraction 
uh, is only intense when mystery is involved. And so you look at a good treasure hunter like the guys that got down to the bottom of Oak Island. People were seeking that treasure of Bluebeard the Pirate for a long time and finally. But you know, the true thing is that all of us, uh, we need to know uh, that the less the we all reveal the more people would wonder about us. And uh, it's time to celebrate uh, the rising of love. And every it's time that we all enjoy uh, wasting, wasting uh, our time. Enjoying time is not wasted time. It's time to recharge our batteries. Can you say are? Because mystery has been not only the essence of divinity, but the final mystery is ourselves. And it's time to realize who we are. We are angels, divine, or demons in the flesh wannabe. But the truth is, the Bible say that all of us have been like, uh, how you say, uh, we've been like the angels in the, our next life, neither male nor female would we be. And the first is last, and the last is first. And the glory of the Lord's latter house, which is us, kids, we have been the mystery because we are shining greater than even the angels once we go into glory unto the sapphire sea that's glistening in beauty. And so it's time to go deep. And if we will, then it's time to realize that yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. But today is a gift. And that's why we call it a present. And the best present, kids, is that the Lord God is saying to all people, he say, I am your God. You are my best little pirates. You are my children of my love. And he say in Jeremiah 31, he say, and I forgive all of your iniquity, all of your sin, all of, all of your badness, because I love you. And then he say, and uh, I'm going to forget all about it. And you will never, I will never remember it. Or my word would be a lie. And I would be a liar, says the Lord. And he says, and I'm going to write my law of love on all good pirates' hearts. So they can go out into the deep and not be afraid. Because there's nothing to fear about love. Love has his way in a storm. And the clouds are but dust under his feet. And so it's time to realize that where there is mystery, people always suspect there also must be evil. <laughs> but they're just kidding themselves because we got to beat the sword into the sickle to learn the ways of war. No more. Isaiah 2 and Micah 4. And that means, kids, wide has been the way paved unto hell with our uh, with our conditional love because conditional lo love says I love you because or I love you if and that's not even love at all and as we uh, go towards hell with conditional love we rationalize and then we justify why it's okay to let the great uh, uh, brain eater uh, the brain sucker starving to come our way and just eat our brains when we aren't looking. So don't do that. God's eye is on us and he wants us to be safe. But people, it's time to celebrate the flowers. Stop and smell the flowers. And so he say, he say unto all of his kids, and uh, all people of earth shall know me from the least to the greatest, for I am love. First John 4, 7. And the Lord say, I am the good shepherd over all the flocks of man are and that's what the pirate says and the Lord says and I am the good shepherd not only of all the flocks but the Lord God Almighty is the Lord God of all mankind Jeremiah 32 27 and people have forgotten that so it's up to you kids to remind all those old farts to to revise because they if they got not the God of everybody they got the wrong God and if they don't have a God uh, who loves everybody on conditionally like he say if he if he lied that wouldn't be no good his book would be like toilet paper don't do it and finally uh, if if god is a respecter of men like somebody best then you know they got a false god because the bible say in two three places that 
It is a sin to be a respecter of men. And so we can't do that. So if 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 God liked the Christians best, and if everybody don't believe he love like the Christians do, and God going to throw them in hell forever and ever and ever and hate them, that's a false God too. So the good news is Jesus is the majesty of majesties. He is Emmanuel. And he came in the flesh and he was God in the flesh and he loves all people, not a little bit, but a whole lot. Can you dig it? I hope so. Amen. So, welcome me, matey. It's time to go out into the deep. This is Captain R. So, are you ready to sail away? Because the Lord is going to take us way deep. And as we do sail away, we can have toys. That's what I like best. Because he who has the most toys wins. <laughs> so let's shove off, mateys. And let's go way out into the deep. Let's find that priceless pearl of great reward, which is Christ the Lord's biggest heart of hearts. And as we do, as we travel on Bonnie Sea, into something very special gonna happen. We can hear the sounds of the echoes of the birdies of love and all the little seagulls will become as the sound of the dove of love transforming within our heart and our might so that we straighten up our pirate hat and put on our thinking hat. Because guess what? If we go out to the deep, then we can chase the rainbow and all the little doves will echo and then we can mount up on eagle's wings and soar high into the sky, higher than we've ever dared to go. And then God gonna let us see behind the veil. For it's only behind the veil that you can see the very best picture of what really is. And so in this hour, it's time to give all glory unto love who truly is a rainbow. And as you behold the vibrancy of his purple crimson robe in the spirit, you shall see a rainbow like you have never beheld. So be now awesomely amazed at the beauty of love, for love shall have his way in the storm, and the dust shall be as clouds under his feet, for love is rising to change the rainbow, the prism of dark side of the moon, which shall be like the twilight zone <laughs> for all those who wants to count their booty. And I gonna count my booty because I got me a treasure chest. Make sure that you come and get your own treasure chest. And then when we go out to the deep and find uh, the Lord because he is manifesting way deeper than uh, Davy Jones locker. That place ain't nothing. But guess what, kids? Now I'm gonna remove the veil and get ready. I'm gonna pause this and I will be right back. Now you see, now keep your eyes on those little fishy. There's little fish. Arr, swabbies. It's time to go into the deep now. And the deep always calls unto deep. And our Lord is the roaring lion of Zion who is lighting candles of hope. Hope that we will go deep because if we don't go deep, we don't even know what is going on. So look at the porpoises and look at the little guys. And uh, I will be right back because we're going to dive, get ready to dive even but before we dive really deep, I want you to see all the killer whales clearly. So Captain R just switched on the light. And in the days of going deep, we can see the fishies of the sea. And we know that 
dinosaurs would like to eat those fishies. But the best thing is, if we dive even deeper, there's even more fish, fishies. And so I will be right back. I'm gonna turn off the light, and then I'm gonna surprise you. So one, two, three, on the count of three. One, two, three, like that. All of a sudden, you're gonna see a totally different, totally different layer, layer after layer after layer. So when the veil is pulled away, if you look very, very closely, there is a whole different other kinds of fishies. Little fishies and big fishies. And all the fishies got one thing in common. <laughs> and I shouldn't laugh about it. Because the fishies are beautiful. And we need to love the fishies. Because if we don't love the fishies then we're going to all be in trouble because those fishies, they, in the day of Noah, and these are days just like the days of Noah again are. That's what the Bible say, and I believe the Bible. And But in these days that are days just like Noah, put my camera down, guess what? The Bible say that Unless we start being nice to each other, unless we start loving one another, unless we start throwing away our bad pirate ways, take those bad hats off. If you're after death, going after death, then open your eyes and see and light a candle of hope so that we can dive really, really deep. And if we will, just like that, Guess what happens? The Lord, he wants to show us beauty. Beauty, 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 because he is our living beauty. And he does have his way in the storm. And he wants to pull down all of our things. And guess what? Maybe he will, but I'm gonna have to put that back up. Murphy's Law. If it can go wrong, it will, it does. Cause you know, that's what happens when you produce in your own uh, stuff, right on, uh, how you say, right on uh, YouTube, because that's the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Murphy's Law, if it can go wrong, it will. And usually it does. But guess what? Maybe this was a good lesson. So you can never judge a book by the cover because something miraculous might be underneath. There might be a mystery wrapped in a puzzle, wrapped in an enigma. Arr. And so we got to stop and smell the roses. The lily of the valley is Christ Jesus, the rose of Sharon. And guess what? The truth is, his love is going to enable us to fly free, free as a bird. And we'll be able to soar on the winds of change. For in this hour, the Lord says, through his spirit of prophecy to Captain R, he says, are you willing to try to be more loving? Are you willing to love your parents? Not because or if, but no matter what happens. Oops. My dad once said something to me. He, he really shook me up. He says, you could crap in my mouth. And I love you. And he meant it. And you know, it's like, who would have say that? But uh, man, and I know that I have unconditional kid, love for my kids. Are If God could make a rock so heavy that he could not lift, could he make a little puppy with unconditional love greater than God has? Ask yourself that. So until next time, Captain R signing off. And make sure you go to school, mind your mama, and hide your patch if you're using it as a slingshot. Don't use your patch as a slingshot. We got to beat the sword into the sickle of love. Raise our hands to heaven and ask God to put something good in our hands. So until next time, 
all you good our pirates. I love you all. And fair sailing is now ahead because we couldn't see the, 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 the skies for all the weather in the way. And now that the weather is clearing, and now that the hurricane in Florida is winding down, we can start to get some relief. So let's head out deep into the sea of the sapphire, and let's find the best, shiniest, beautifulest treasure out there. And even if I make up new words like beautifulest, I like to do that. Call me Captain R. Are you good with that, I hope?